Well, mighty pretty horse you have there. Thank you, sir. Yeah, straight a limb, nice face between the eyes, plenty of spunk and spirit. Holds her head nice and high, kind of proud. And got just the kind of a smile I like, too. <laughs> I thought you were still talking about my horse. Well, I was, but my thoughts got to wandering, ma'am, and all in the same direction. You're not from New York, are you? I'm from the West, ma'am, where men are men, and women hope and pray it stays that way. Amen. I'm afraid I haven't thanked you for saving my life. Oh, shucks, ma'am. I need to save you for nothing. Well, won't you let me thank you just a little bit? I'm the one that should be grateful. And for you, ma'am. For me? Why? Just for being. Oh. Then it's true. Hmm? Uh, that Western men are so romantic. Well, I wouldn't know about that, but we always got to appreciate our women folks. Why do you have to do that? Because there ain't enough to go around. Oh, really? How delightful. I never knew that. Could I inquire about your name, ma'am? Oh, no. It's not being done in New York. Well, thank you again, and goodbye. Well, I, I, I hope that little bronc of yours doesn't cause you no more trouble. Oh, don't worry. She won't. And might I inquire about her name, ma'am? Well, I see no reason why not. It's Blackie. I see. Where does this poor little Blackie live? Well, she lives in back of that brick house, right outside the park gate. Do you suppose she'd mind, ma'am, if I drop by this afternoon later on with some carrots for her? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock, ma'am. Get me! And his eyes are blue, and his hands are just like a couple of Virginia hams. What time is it, Louise? Four o'clock, Miss Vanessa. Oh, but you told me that half an hour ago. No disrespect, Miss Vanessa, but you've got it bad. But you haven't seen him. He's tall and strong, and it's... And he has blue eyes and hands like a couple of Virginia hams. How do you know? Oh, I was just guessing. How do I look? Well, if you don't mind me saying so, Miss Vanessa, I think you look too good for that... That cowboy. He is not a cowboy. He's a man. Most cowboys are. But where can he be? You don't really think he went to see Blackie. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Cowboys are funny that way, I hear. That must be him. Quickly, let him in. Yes, Miss Vanessa. <laughs> Good afternoon. Afternoon, ma'am. Well, I was down seeing little old Blackie, and she suggested it might be a good idea to come up and say hello to you. Hello. Tea, Louise. Yes, Miss Vanessa. Vanessa. That's the prettiest sound these big old ears of mine have ever heard. Won't you sit down? Vanessa. Sounds like a dozen larks singing in the blue sky. Miss Vanessa, I'd like to pay my respects to your parents. Oh, I'm afraid my parents died a long time ago. Oh, a poor little orphan child, huh? Well, I'm all alone myself. Archie Peters is the name. How do you do, Mr. Peters? Vanessa. Sounds like the wind whispering in the prairie grass. Oh, come, Mr. Peters. Tell me all about your home out in the West. My little old home in the West. I've been away from it for six weeks now. That's a powerful stretch for a man to be away from his ranch. What is a ranch, really? You mean you don't know what a ranch is? Well, a, a ranch is sort of like a farm, only we don't raise any vegetables or grain, just cattle and horses and hogs. It must be very interesting. It's the most beautiful place in the whole world. What's it called? Dead Skunk's Creek. What's a creek? Well, a creek is sort of like a stream, only part of the year it ain't got no water in it because we're in the desert country. Miss Vanessa, a ride, a night ride under the silvery moon. In the desert? Yeah. And as you ride along in the moonlight with the smell of the prairie grass in your nose, in the distance you hear the howl of a coyote. I tell you, it's the prettiest. It must be pretty. What's a coyote? You wouldn't be fun of me, would you? Oh, certainly not. 
<clears throat> Tea, Miss Vanessa. Thank you, Louise. Just put it on the desert. I figured out a way where you could learn more about my desert. It's a big world where your eyes don't bump into things all the time. I got a little old ranch house. It, it's kind of empty. Got lots of friends, but I'm still alone. What I'm trying to say, Miss Vanessa, is do you think you could, that is, would you do me the honor of, could I ask for your hand? I, I don't know quite how to. What do you want this in here for? It ain't our wash day. No, it isn't our wash day, Archie. It's mine. I'm going to take a bath. Here? Yes, here. Archie Peters, why didn't you tell me there was no bathroom in this ranch? You never asked me, honey. I, besides, I told you it was just a little old ranch. I didn't even know what a ranch was. All I heard about was the wide open spaces in the desert. And I'm learning. You're not sorry, are you, honey? What do you think? Have I ever complained? Have I ever embarrassed you in front of your friends? Haven't I tried to compromise in everything? Yeah, Vanessa, you sure have. Well, then you listen to me, Archie. The one thing I'm not going to compromise on is my warm bath. But, honey, there's a whole creek out there. All you got to do is get a piece of soap and... But soap doesn't work in it. It's full of alky, alky something. Alkali, honey. All the creeks around here got alkali in them. Anyway, the cows stand and watch me. Steers. I don't care what they are. They're, they're beings. Well, I still have a sense of modesty. Honey, we don't hold much with false modesty out here. It isn't false. It's genuine. Anyway, what would the neighbors think if they could see Mrs. Archie Peters out there taking a bath in the creek? Creek. Creek or creek. I'm not going to make an exhibition of myself. Honey, there's nobody around here for 20 miles. Morning, Pat. Morning, Archie. Morning, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Turner. Uh, won't you tie up your coyote and come in and have some coffee? Cayuse, honey. Can't you remember? Yes, a cayuse is a, is a horse and a coyote is a dog. I always seem to get it mixed. I can't stay for coffee, ma'am. I come to get Archie. Oh. Something wrong? I didn't want to tell you in front of the missus. It's him again. Mr. Turner, if you have something to say, I wish you'd come right out and say it and not keep it behind my back. After all, this is the wide open West and, well, isn't it? Uh, ain't it? Uh, we're organizing a, a posse, uh, ma'am, and we need your husband. Well, what's a posse? Uh, well, it's, uh, ma'am, it's, it's like a party, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly like a party. Yes, sir. Oh, a party. Uh, home cooking? Uh, no, Archie. Uh, Am I invited? Uh, I fear you ain't, Mrs. Peters. And Archie is? Why? Well, it, it's for men only, ma'am. Oh, it is, is it? Well, I know just what that is like, and you aren't going anywhere. Honey, you don't understand. Parties for men. Does Mrs. Turner know about this? Oh, honey, Pat don't mean what you got in mind. It's a, it's a hunting party, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Like a hunting party. Uh, bang, bang, and we'll be back. Oh, well, in that case, I won't have to fix up the leftover chicken for dinner. Why not? Well, you're going to shoot something, aren't you? Yeah, but I don't think we want that for dinner. Well, you better stick a little old chicken. Well, what are you going to hunt? Well, you might just as well know now as later. It's not what we're going to hunt, it's who. You mean that, that you're going to hunt for a man? That's about the size of it, ma'am. Anyone we know? No, you might say, honey, he's a stranger. But you told me in New York there weren't any strangers in the West, that it was all one big happy family. Honey, there's a black sheep in every family. But you don't go hunting for him with a gun. It isn't proper, and I forbid it. Honey, you might just as well know. This man is a dangerous man. He's a killer. A killer? Well, what's his name? A fellow by the name of Bonnie. A cattle rustler who'd rather shoot a sheriff than eat. Killed our sheriff just a little while back. And there's a thousand dollars reward on his head. Well, if there's going to be shooting, it'll be dangerous, and I don't want you to go. Honey, I got to go. It's my duty. There's no danger. None at all. Tell her, Pat. We got a plan, Mrs. Peters. We found his hideaway. It's in one of those little red bluff caves up there. We got two men staked out watching the approaches, and we're going to close the trap. Come on, Pat. We got a long way to go. Goodbye, Mrs. Peters. Uh, goodbye. Honey, 
Remember what I told you about strangers. Yeah, you, you, you shoot first and then you ask questions. Right. Bear full of woman. <laughs> oh, I can't see. I've got soap in my eyes. <laughs> Will you stop laughing long enough and hand me a towel? Quickly. Oh. You picked a pretty poor place to hide, ma'am. How long have you been underwater? An hour at least. Oh, look, will, will you please go someplace so that I can get dressed? I'll be leaving when it's dark. Dark? You don't expect me to stay in here until then. Oh, I guess not, ma'am. I'll just turn my back. C couldn't you, couldn't you take a walk or something? No. It's me with my back turned to you stay in the barrel until I leave. Oh, please. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to hurt you. Archie said you could trust Western men. They're perfect gentlemen. Who's Archie? My husband. Are you around here? Oh, no, he's gone hunting. Well, if you belong to me, ma'am, I'd expect you to put some clothes on and stop talking. I got my back turned, so go ahead. Well, you, you, you go ahead and, and close that door first. Well, anything to oblige a lady. Now you can put your head underneath that curtain. And be sure and keep your back turned. Look, ma'am, if you ain't out of that barrel by the time I count to ten, I'm gonna... What will you do? I'm going to pull you out by the hair. Now get going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Well, make yourself comfortable. I'll be right out. Well, thank you, ma'am. That's just what I'm doing. Sitting here cleaning my gun. Uh, are you hungry? Ma'am, I'm so hungry I could eat the stuffings right out of a chair. <laughs> Don't move, stranger. And start reaching for the ceiling. Well, uh, wait a minute, ma'am. Uh, what have I ever done to you? Well, I'm sorry, but Archie said to shoot first and ask questions later. Well, I, I can't very well answer questions if I'm dead, can I? No, that's just exactly what I said to Archie. How can I question a corpse? Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, you, uh, you might shoot in that wall over there, and, and you could tell your husband you shot but missed. That's a very good idea. Oh, my 
my precious water. Well, do something. Why, how clever. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> well, I, I'm Mrs. Archie Peters. What's your name? Well, folks in these parts call me Billy. Oh, Billy what? Billy the Kid. Oh, why, that's sweet. Why don't you sit down, Billy, and I'll make us some coffee and sandwiches. Would you hold this? Ain't you awful trusting, ma'am? Well, of course I trust you now. You didn't turn, even after you counted to ten. Oh, how do you know? I watched you through the crack in the door. <laughs> It's mighty good coffee, Mrs. Peters. Why, thank you, Mr. Kidd. Oh, it's not Mr. Are you sure you ain't never heard of Billy the Kid? Well, I haven't lived out in the West long, and I don't know everyone. What is your real name if it isn't Mr. Kidd? Well, I think you'd better just call me Billy. Oh. oh, I understand. Archie did tell me that it wasn't polite to ask too many questions. It ain't healthy either, ma'am. You see that? Well, it answers when people get a little too curious. What are all those marks on the handle? Oh, nothing much, except I plugged a man for every notch. It's just full of notches. Oh, only six. I, I just keep track of the sheriffs on this one. Uh, but that, now this one over here, it's, it's got 14 on it. It's my everyday gun. Uh, 20 men? Oh, Mr. Kidd, how terrible. When you shot at them, did they, I, I mean, Yep. You see that fly over there on the barrel? You went and did it again. Well, I just wanted to show you that when Billy the Kid shoots at something, he hits what he's aiming at. My goodness, then you did shoot them, just like flies. <laughs> oh, shucks, no, man. <laughs> no. Well, I gave him a chance to, to draw first. Wish I could shoot. Well, I, I could probably teach you a few things. You would, Billy? Oh, sure. Here, take your gun. Let's go outside. That's it. Now, you, you just side along that front side and seem to let that tin can out there just rest right on top of it. That's it. Side along it, and you squeeze real gentle like. You don't jerk the trigger, you squeeze it. Now squeeze gently, squeeze. I mean, we hit it. Oh, that was fun. Wasn't it fun, Billy? Ma'am, you sure are pretty. Billy, uh, was you aiming to kiss me? I reckon I... Well, well just you, you, you aim in a different direction because I, I'm a married woman. I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I forgot my manners. <laughs> well, for a moment there, you had me thinking you might be an Easterner. Well, we'll forget all about it. I want you to show me uh, how, to, how to twirl this, you know. Oh, Billy, I, I've shot you. I, I killed you. Oh, I didn't mean to. Please forgive me. <laughs> That's all right, man. Ain't nothing. Just scorch the skin a little bit. Oh, it's bleeding. Oh, it's only a scratch. Oh, but you're saying that to make me feel better. I tell you, it's nothing. <laughs> oh, lean on me. I'll help you inside. Well, really, it's, it's nothing at all. It's just, it's just a little scratch. How do you feel? Hmm? Oh, fine. Just fine. That little nap was just what I needed. What are you doing? Filing my notch. What for? I shot you. <laughs> that don't count. I was just an accident. Besides, you only grazed me. Is that the rules? Yep. You gotta nail your man for good. Who made up these rules? Well, I started the idea of filing notches on my gun, and before I noted, everybody was copying me. You mean you keep your own score? Sure. Who else would? Billy, you hmm. wouldn't, I mean, you wouldn't, well, maybe exaggerate a little, just a notch or two when you got to the end of the handle in your gun and you wanted to fill it up. Ma'am, are you insinuating I'd be a low-down, dirty, cheating coward? Oh, no, no, Billy, pardon me. I forgot my manners. Please forgive me. Ma'am, seeing as you didn't know. Thank you. Now, what am I going to do about this notch on my gun? 
Not much you can do. It's already there. But I thought of keep it on credit. I mean, well, say I do shoot a man, then I wouldn't have to carve another notch. It would be sort of like having it in the bank. Billy, you're not listening to me. Hmm? Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. Well, I guess I better be going. It's getting dark out. Well, at least stay until my husband gets back. He said he'd be back before dark. He did? Yes, he went out with a posse. It's an honor and a duty, you know, and a thousand dollar prize. Why don't you wait till he gets back? I'm sure he won't be long and he'd just love to meet you. Yeah, I'm sure he would. But I gotta go. Billy, I've got an idea. Why don't you go up to Red Bluff Caves? Maybe you can help them to catch Mr. Bonnie and share in the thousand dollars. Red Bluff Caves? You mean they found his hideaway? Why, of course. Uh, Ma'am, I'd just like to thank you for your hospitality. Why, you're quite welcome, I'm sure. And thank you for giving me the shooting lesson. Oh, don't mention it. Oh, and remember, you squeeze the trigger. Don't jerk it. Bonnie smelled out the trap. I was afraid he might stop by here. Oh, did I ride fast. Oh, well, I was well protected. If Mr. Bonnie had come this way, he would have had a hot reception. What are you talking about? We had a visitor. And do you know that he had 20 notches on his guns and he could shoot a fly right off a rain barrel? Look at that hole. How many notches? 20. I counted them myself. He didn't by any chance happen to mention his name, did he? Oh, yes, he did. And you know, he agreed with me, Archie, that it was stupid to shoot someone and then try to find out Archie, what's that star? Honey, his it? name, his name. Billy the Kid, but that's not his real name. Honey, that's Bonnie. That's the man we've been looking for. Now, look, which way did he go? How much star did he get? That star, Archie, what's that star well, doing The boys there? elected me sheriff, and I gotta get that Bonnie dead or alive. Now, which way did he go? Archie, you're not going. Honey, I gotta go. It's my duty. Stand right where you are. You're not going. Billy's got 20 notches on his guns, and six of them are for sheriffs. I ain't hankering on being a widow, Archie Peters. I've got a notch on this gun that ain't paid for, and it's gonna be for you if you try to... Oh, I've hit it again. Here, give me a bullet, Archie. There. Next time you write to that mail order house, Archie, you have them send me a bulletproof bathtub. And get them up, Archie, and suck up this water. Hurry, hurry, quickly! Hurry, Archie! Bring him up! 